In the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina, a lot of us needed help to rebuild not only our homes, but our lives. One of those groups was the Make It Right Foundation, and they were going to help rebuild homes for those who lost everything in the Lower Ninth Ward, but have since had some controversy with the construction of those homes. Now there's a lot more questions, and it all surrounds these containers and what's inside. Now that container was found in the Lower Ninth Ward, wide open with all kinds of paperwork inside. Good evening, I'm Cherise Gibson. And I'm Katie Moore. Now there's concern that there is personal information inside that's not properly secured. Mike McDaniel has that story. At the corner of Jordan Avenue in North Roman in the Lower Ninth Ward. It could be anything in it. Six shipping containers, which Selena Pritchett says have been there about 10 years. It's been here so long that it's just like, yeah, that's just there. It's just, you know, it's a part of the community now. There are also two across the street. They all showed up as part of the Make It Right Foundation, created in 2007 to help rebuild the neighborhood after Hurricane Katrina. But Pritchett never knew what was in them. I always thought it was just building materials. Last week, she noticed the containers were open. A photo sent to Eyewitness News shows one of them wide open. Tuesday, one of them was partially open, with stacks of documents, including blueprints and invoices, visible. None of them are locked. For folks who live around here, the concern is that personal information may also be stored inside unsecured. What if it is stuff like that, that they just cleared out the office or local office that they had down here and just threw it in there and left? According to records from the Orleans Parish Assessor's Office, this property is owned by Make It Right New Orleans Housing LLC. There was no one at the local office on nearby Tennessee Street and listed numbers for the nonprofit don't work. Emails sent to Make It Right representatives from Eyewitness News have not been responded to. Make It Right is already facing backlash and legal action for alleged subpar construction. And now there's a trust issue in keeping documents safe. We've already been hearing everything that's going on with Make It Right, so who are we really going to hold accountable? Because of the concern about sensitive information, Eyewitness News called the city's action line, which sent the information to the Safety and Permits Department. Eyewitness News also called Councilwoman Cindy Wynn's office and the NOPD's 5th District. Nothing happened, which leaves residents concerned. You need to do something a little bit better, or at least have security to come around and make sure that it is locked and is not being tampered with. Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News. One of our photographers drove back out to the storage containers late this evening. They were still open. Again, we have reached out to the city about securing those containers, but have not heard back from them.